What are you saying, Jam? Are you done volume five? Local! Are you done? Local. So what's going on, like? We made it to volume five. Yeah, cuz. You get me? It's just a... True say, man was out there doing some... Man was out there doing ballet dancing over Grammy, you get me? Mm. I see some ballet dancers on couple rhythms, you get me? And I was like, raw, it's getting mad out there. Like, like who? Like who? Couple ballet dancers, man. Like you know who? them, like man. You play them man's tunes. You play them man's tunes. Like who, bro? I don't play no one. Bruv, you play them man's tunes. I listen to your show, bruv. You play them ballet dancers' tunes. I've been hearing you. Bruv, say names then, innit, bro? You bruv, don't. I, listen, you don't I'm, you the one that make, I'm the one that makes people say names. You don't make me say names. Alright, you know what I'm saying? Bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I but I know what but I know you know what the ballet dancers that I'm talking about. I don't, so. that's what I'm asking. Yeah, no, but obviously that you're meant to say you don't, innit? I don't, that's I would it. say like But listen, obviously them man were ballet dancing, so I thought I was gonna come true. You get me on my moonwalk thing. Yeah. And I just come moonwalk back into the game. You get me and just let the ballet dancers know man's local. You get me? So why now? Why did you want to drop? Are you done? Because too much ballet was going on. I'm telling you, you're not you're not listening to me. But you're not even telling me who it is. So I can't really take you seriously. Now you back. want me to tell you who well, it yeah, is. I can't really take for, you seriously. For, for bro. You're show. coming on here on my what? show saying this ballet dancer. You said you can't take me seriously. Listen, you need to take me serious. I'm uh, saying there's ballet dancers out there. I've come through on my Michael Jackson moonwalker thing. It's a metaphor, isn't it? You get me. So with knowing, with if you know music and you're a DJ. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the climate of the music. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I'm not talking about individual directly. This is this is not this is not about like drawing anyone out for yeah. my own personal gains. You get what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to say, if you if you do know your music and you're educated enough to understand what I'm saying, is I'm saying that the thing was getting watered down. You get me? And there was getting confusion between what actual what grime is. Do you get what I'm saying? So I thought. Okay. I thought I had to come and set the set the benchmark again and set the levels and let man know that this is what grime sounds like. Get me? Just like this bed that you're playing in the back of the, 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 the tune now. Mm. This is why it sounds like this when you're listening to it. Because it comes from a place of truth. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. why it lives forever. That's why you're still playing it today when you're interviewing me because you know that things like that, they will, they will never die. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so hear you. I'm, I'm just back with this Are You Dumb CD to make music that's never going to die. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm that's what I'm here to show. Not music that's gonna last for a month or two or two months or like a year and then it's a passing phase. Mm. I come I come to set the levels again. So like five years from now, you'll still be playing tunes off Are You Done Five? Do you get what I'm saying? And that's that's what my music does. That's why I'm still here in front of your face. Like because a lot of men are making music for what's going on now, innit? Yeah. You see an artist that didn't do Afro beats or Afro swing or whatever you call it. But because his thing's not popping right now, maybe in grime or hip hop or whatever he was doing before, he's gonna jump on an Afro swing rhythm because that's what's cracking right now. But mm. respect to respect to everyone who's doing their thing in it. But like I represent something in it. So if I see what I'm representing getting a bit shaky, I have to come and represent myself. You can't send the boy to do a, do a man's job, fam. What so do you feel like the shelf life in grime or in music in general in this day and age is not is not long? I think like everything's quick, it's, it's it's just a quick turnover, like yeah come on I got a tune, post it on my Instagram, Graham Daily, Link Up TV, everyone looks at it, clicks it, likes it, alright next guy. That's where we're at, you get what I'm saying, it's like, when like even Merkel man, that tune, that was out two years before I shot the video fam. Mm. You get what I'm saying, that was, the, our man was going to, man was going in the car, to every single ends, going on the stage, whether there was bad man, murderers, whatever, going to any ends and standing there and saying my tune with my brethren. Do you get me? Then, till the tune's big, and then when the tune's big on the streets, like I mean really on the street, mm. then you make your video and you go to the next level. But I think now, the way that social media is and everything, everybody skips all the work and they just go straight to the, to, to your phone. But do you feel that's because obviously the day and age we're in? Or I just think like, it's laziness. Yeah? Yeah, I just think people are lazy and people want money now and they want to be famous and they want to get girls and they want Versace and they want stuff. Yeah. But I don't blame them for that because everybody wants stuff, innit? That's cool. But I represent Graham. And Graham is, Graham is the freedom of not just black youth, all youth culture. Yeah. Like, you get me? So me being part of something that's built, some, given everyone a voice and given people actually like jobs like self-employed jobs where they pay themselves and pay their team and their crew that's what i care about yeah you get me so when people are coming and doing they're coming in for their own gains and quickly getting what they want to get 
and ducking out and not actually putting back into the industry. I see them in it. I'm not going to call them out, but I just know they're not on my mission. They're not with me. They're not trying to do what I'm doing. When I put out Are You Dumb, it's not a CD. It's not just a tune. It's not just a CD full of tunes. It's it's like, it's showing it's showing people when we go to like, bro, just wait till the live show is coming in. That's what I'm saying. Man, I'm going to know. Man can't walk on the stage next to me and spit. I'll, I'll shut everyone down because it's coming from a different place, isn't it? I understand. And as well with Grime as now, is what I see a lot. I see a lot of people doing like PAs. What, at the, the stage shows? Yeah, they come out and they do a PA and they like, they hold the mic and then they press play and then they rap over their song and they come off. Don't you agree with that then? No, I, I understand what they're doing. They, they want to be like an American artist, innit? Mm. That's where that comes from, innit? But the reason why our thing was big is because there was no formula, innit? It's like, you went to a garage rave, you didn't see um, Sparks and Kai coming out, performing the gym. They were just spraying the bar over whatever beat played, innit? Like, so if you go to like Sidewinder and they're playing a bag of instrumentals, Wiley's going to spit who at all the pies over any beat, yeah. this beat, or he's going to say um, garage. I don't care about garage over any beat. Yeah. It's going to be the same reaction over any song. But now people are trying to refine the genre to a beat. You can't do that. Like the music, if you make a tune, it's a tune to go into the world. But if whose you, fault is that? Is it the promoters or the promoters selling these yeah, dogs? Yeah, partly oh, the promoters, partly the dogs, isn't it? Partly, part, it's, it's both parts. It's everyone's fault. It's everyone's fault. So like when I pull up now, like I'm just trying to tell the DJ to play some instrumentals so we can go back to back on Merc, innit? Because if you look at our music, that's why America loves it. When we went to America and we went to um, No Wave Radio and we were spitting, they can't do that. Yeah. So why, why are we going to do what, what they can do already? Well, let's do what they can't do. Yeah. So like, and again, not everybody's going to, not everyone cares about what I don't, not everyone cares about what I care about get me and that's why I'm me because I care about that stuff whereas someone mostly wouldn't even think of that that doesn't even come into their um their, their brain wave they don't care mm. but again if people like me didn't care about that stuff you wouldn't be hair mixing on radar this ra- this station wouldn't exist yeah. and I'm not saying that out of like arrogance or ignorance or anything I'm just saying that out of facts yeah no I hear you on that I definitely hear you on that like a lot of guys walking around me they wouldn't exist they wouldn't even be here so now, knowing that, I've got to continue to do my job, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? So, and my job is to make grime music that is pure and true to grime. Not something that I'm going to make because I want to go to the charts or I want to get on Glastonbury. Or so, you've never made music to get in the charts? It's always been pure for you? Oh, man, man ain't made, man. Man's never made music to get in the charts, innit? Like, man's never made music to get in the charts. Man's made music because when I hear a beat or I turn my laptop on or I spit a lyric, the joy and happiness I get from that, I don't get that from anything. Not gal, not weed, not thing. There's nothing in the world that when I make a beat and I look at D Power and I say, bruv, I just made this. And he, and he throws his drink on the floor, bruv. That's my drug. Do you get what I'm saying? So, and, and to continue, to, and, and one thing I've seen in music is that actually that same moment is the only thing that matters because that that translates to the stage and to the radio and to the world and to anywhere in the world that translates that moment when your brethren lets you know that you you murked that's all that matters it's like when someone asks me what's the best advice i can give like what to the youngers coming up just go to your brethren and make them like your rhythms because if your brethren don't like your rhythms no one in the world is ever gonna like your rhythms Ever. They're your number one fan. So like that's how your thing builds up. Inwards, you get me? Yeah. Then it goes outwards. If you ain't got the support at home or around you, how are you gonna be the guy? All your brethren have to say you're the guy, innit? If I'm with Bear, if I'm with 20 man and they're saying, nah, he's alright though, how am I ever gonna blow? When my brethren say to this guy, yo, this is the guy, listen to you. And that's what that's what people don't understand. This music thing is built off love. If you look at everyone's career at some point, not everyone, but a majority of people's careers, you will see at some point someone that was a bit more well known than them said, This was the guy. Yeah. Then all the people that like that well known guy at the moment, they actually, they, don't, they might not think he's the guy, but they're going to take a moment out to see if he's the guy. Yeah, that's what happens in this day and age as well. A lot of people don't actually like. No, it's supposing if Drake guy. comes here and says these men are licking it down, because it's Drake and everyone from England wants to bread Drake, 
they bred the guy that they're saying that he thinks is hard. Do you feel that's wrong now? Do you feel like people haven't got their own I said mind? It, I said it the other day on my other Radio 1 interview. I don't think it's wrong because people like Drake, Kanye and whatever shining light on our scene because they understand that we are the, we are the, like the greatest of all time. Yeah. I understand that. But what's sad is that the people from London and England, not just London, the UK, on U- Europe, full stop, have to wait for Ye or Drake or any rapper. It could be flipping Cardi B, anyone that's not from London or England or the UK to say it. For them to say, oh no, them men are hard, you know. No, I heard them men, you know, them men are hard, cuz. Bruv, you need to make your. In, we live in a day and age where people don't make up their own minds, innit? Yeah. So it's like, okay, this is good because it got 100,000 likes. Okay. That's mad. You get me? Because it's, cause it's good because cause 100,000 people liked it. Mm. Or, or is it good because you like it? You you answer my question. When you go on your social media mm. and you want to play a tune for your show, yeah. do you play the tune because you like this tune, you love it? Or if, if you see a tune getting up, like 100,000, what, you're going to not play it? Nah, it, it depends with me. I generally play tunes that I like. I like to break artists and stuff like that. So okay. I don't really follow the hype where okay, I'm, that's gonna you. Play, I'm that, not going to play a Drake tune or this and that because it's popping. That's me. Yeah, but that's you. Okay, but you're on radio, which is a niche market underground. we we got certain type of levels here where... You know, I don't know who's picking the DJs what go on this station, but I know what this station's built out of. But that's you. But the majority of DJs, fam, they're gonna play the tune because it's got hundred thousand clicks, bro. They're gonna play it. And whether you whether you agree with me or not, I'm not even asking you. I'm just saying I know from I know bare DJs, I know bare people, and I've seen what's happening. The social media, it's kind of leading music, innit? It's like rather than Whereas back in the day, like word of mouth, like if I had a mixtape, I'll go every end. So if I'm human, I've got the ting. I might even have a burn of it. Like I might even have a burn of it on me. Leave it in that ends with them, man. They start playing it in their car. Yeah. You get me? They pass it to another man. But, and that's through life, innit? But I just think like now a lot of people are looking at like who's popping on social media. Bruv, it's, it's the truth, man. If you go in, if I go into these label meetings and it's like, how many followers you got? What that does? Like, so is that what you do then? Do you like do exactly what we're saying like do you literally you someone's got a thousand whatever blah 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 views do you take that into account or would you literally give someone a chance no, if you only I'm, got like 10 I'm, 20 views and would you still actually listen fam, to that is me fam i got a tune on my cd dizzle ap no one knows him fam you get me i was on my instagram i saw the clip of the youth spitting i said this youth is hard he didn't have he had mostly like 55 likes mm. i said dear me your number bruv you get me mm. I phoned him, I said, where are you? Come to London now, bro. We're making a tune. But remember, I'm around bare big MCs that are already getting big likes. I don't even make tunes with them. Not because I don't want to make tunes with them, but it's it's never been a... I, I can't even really answer that question because if you all you have to do is just go back into my history and look at who I'm with before they was big. Yeah, I just want the people to know that I obviously have got an idea, but yeah. The people know that because if the people go back to Grime and look at every single person that was going to be big, I said they're going to be big before they was big. Like who then? Everyone. Tell, everyone, tell everyone, everyone. A couple names. Everyone, a couple everyone, names. everyone, 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 everyone. Yeah, if anyone's got a problem, holler. Everyone. So what are you saying? You brought through everyone or no, it was around people? I didn't people. bring them through. I didn't bring them through. I'm just saying I've got the vision in it. And when you have the vision, sometimes you're in front of people. They don't understand it, innit? So me saying to you now, now, on this show, I might be saying bare things to you. You'd be thinking, wow, man, you're a bit... You're going mad a bit. You're saying bare things. But no, in six months' time, or a year, you're going to be like, wow, Jama said this to me like last year, you know? All right, tell me, who do you think um, are the guys at the moment, then? I've got an idea. And oh, I bet- who, who are the yeah, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, in what, what, in Graham? Yeah, in Graham. You're not sure? Um, no, I am sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Who are the guys? My crew, man. Who, what, um, what Blake in there, man? Nah, boy, but I know from. They're okay. the guys. All right, cool. Nah, okay, I'm talking about up and coming, obviously. Up and coming, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, up and coming. Who, who are the ones to look out for? Like, who who have you got your eye on? Blake and Fusion are family, innit? They're around, man, innit? But yeah. I literally, like I was saying to them earlier, I've literally been hibernating in my studio so unless you're talking about new brand new names i don't i ain't linked no mcs from that i ain't been driving around doing all of the mics i don't know who's about but who i know who's doing grime now who's popping who's got a name for themselves and doing it it's the obvious people in it 
It's the people that have been endorsed at certain levels, isn't it? Yeah. But there's um there's too much new MCs. I think like Do you feel what do you think? Not too much, but like there's too much to mention them. Because the scene's thriving. We didn't have this much new when Tinchy Strider and N dubs and that was coming out, there was no MCs doing grime. There wasn't no new MCs. Only after like German Whip and Lord of the Mics free. Yeah. We got a rush of, of new MCs that came through and done their thing, innit? Yeah. But right now, the up and, like, I wouldn't even say it's up and coming because you can't really say anyone's up and coming now because of social media. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, JK, like, he's, I've, I've, I've been around JK. He's up and coming. Yeah but, pe- yeah, but people would say he's on the right. Like, he's, he's on the right to that, yeah. that level. Yeah, but that's the, still, the, the level that's, that that's the moment. That's, that's your up and coming moment. Nah, that's your, I don't think Yeah, it, it kind of. Nah. Bam, what do you mean by up and coming? Someone that no one knows. That, like, the majority of people don't know. That's what I mean. Yeah, but that, you see, like, them up and coming MCs, I only find them on my deeper journeys, fam. Like, that's when I go to Manchester and I'm going to plot up there with them, man. Yeah, I'll yeah. phone them, I'll jam. Who's, who's, what, who's what? You get me? I'll go radio with them and I'll hear a you. And I'm like, who's that you? Mm. And then I'll find them, innit? But that, that, I ain't been doing Lord of the Mics to know what young youths are popping right now because I'm not, I'm in jammer mode. I'm doing my album, I'm doing my mixtape. You get me? Yeah. I've really just said, because a lot of the time I neglected my own projects for Lord of the Mics. If you look at how many Lords of the Mics there are, there's more Lords of the Mics than Jammer albums or projects. Do you get what I'm saying? So I had to take myself out of that like little loop and do something for me, innit? Like, you this feel like you made a mistake doing that? No, nah, not a mistake. Because if I didn't do it, man would, like, it wouldn't, we wouldn't have what we've got. But then you have to, um, then you have to realise when you need to deal with your thing, innit? You get me? It's not about not doing it. It's about when you, when you need to stop doing it. Yeah. Not doing it is selfish, but stop, stop, knowing when to stop is important. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like if you drink, you, you some, everyone drinks, innit? But you know, you know, there's certain people that when they get to a certain point of drinking, you need to stop drinking, innit? Yeah. And it's just being aware of what you need to do, innit? And I think like right now, I'm just looking to murk everything, everyone, every stage, every tune, every beat, all the laptops are open, everything's getting murked. Because, uh, because I think, I, I think, me personally, that, that, a lot of people are getting away with a lot of they're getting away with stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? In terms of what, like um, the way they're putting out their music or what they're spitting about, are they lying? I don't want to draw anyone out or anything no, like it's that. Not, but it's like, not what? about lying. It's just like what, like who are you? Because all right, cool. There's a lot of artists out now. I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about you. Like you just you just appeared in front of me, and you're just here. And that piss you off though that artists are just coming out of nowhere and like no, it doesn't hitting piss, the belly it, straight it, away it doesn't piss me off I like it I was saying this earlier I, it's the whole point if if like it's the whole point of doing it it's the whole point of people being able to come and um, and have careers and eat and stuff but one thing I say and I've said it before I've had arguments with like um, Jamal Edwards and Posty online before and stuff like my only problem or not even problem. The only thing I ever said to anyone is if you're making money from the gram scene, mm. you should be putting some money back into the scene, i.e. like make doing the studio for his space for some youths. You should be like putting on it at events um, and just putting back into what's been built. Do you get what but I'm saying? Some people will say, why should they? They've well, made the money stupid, on their that's own. A why, stupid, like, why should they? That's a stupid question. Would you like some people say, "Why should they put back into what that what what they just?" Yeah, they're gonna up. say, "Look, I've made this on my own." Uh, blah blah blah. Like, why should I put money back into grab? What would you say to that? Well, do you know, I I would just think that's very like, for me. Can I just be? Can I break it down like this? Yeah, it's like you got guys saying, "Why should I put back into it?" And they've made from it. I've been doing this when there was no money, fam. When you could get shot in your face. Mm. How about that? Yeah, and all the money in my pocket that I've been making, not from music, from other places, I've been putting into music, alongside guys like this. Get me? You don't even want, you don't even want to get on, forget me, there's guys like Deep Power in the room. These guys was responsible for, for Deja Vu fam. Yeah. If you didn't have him, there would be no Kano, no Nasty Crew, no Ro, no Wana. So you, so, but he, he paid for that out of his own pocket. So what do you mean? I had done this on your own. What do you mean? A man mad, but obviously, if this was in America, a man will be getting smacked up. But over here, but obviously, we got to keep it conservative. It's the Queen's country and that, so a man can't just smack man up in it. But if this was in, if this was in another country, man will be getting smacked up. What do you mean? You can't go so to hip, what you, you can't saying? go to hip hop and say 
make all this money from hip hop and then when the people in hip hop are saying to you do you want to put back into hip hop you're saying I made this myself I didn't make it from hip hop so what are you saying uh, the youth of today who make any money not the youth not the youth whatever, everyone is big man to you people big like man you are they what? In debt to people like you because in you're debt. No way. Not in debt like they no owe way. you money, but like Bruh, it's you not me. The... Look, not me. I'm just speaking the truth. Okay, people listen, like okay, power. Wait, wait, people like me. G no, listen, let me, let me break it down to you. Not me, because I've done my job and I'm doing my job. I'm still doing my job. I'm just saying, if there was 50 of me and D Powers and Wileys, I think we would be in a better position, don't you? Yeah, ob obviously, yeah. Okay, so my point is. Don't act like a leader when you're walking behind. Be a leader, innit? Like, do leader sh leadership things, innit? Do things that make you a leader. Don't just start, because you got a big tune, you're a leader. You're not. You're not a leader. You got a big tune and you're on the Headline Festival this year, but you're not a leader. Because tomorrow, when your tune's not hot, no one's going to care about you. People don't care about me because i got a hot tune. Right now, today, I don't, like, even my, my CD's out now, none of those tunes have prevailed into the place where the tune's banging. Like, they're gonna, but it ain't happened yet. I'm not here because I got a hot tune. I'm here because of the work I've done. So, and me actually going away and making all these projects and doing my thing. I know who I am. So when I'm talking now, I'm just saying things how they are in it. It's not an ignorant thing. I'm not talking to someone directly. But if, if it does apply to anybody, they're gonna know who they are in it. Mm. Do you get me? And I think, like, it's not about name calling, like, and and it's not about nothing. But I'm just, it's just like letting people know that man are man are thirty in America. You can't go to Dre and chat put to him. Man, you will get shunned from the scene. You can't disrespect them, man. You get me? Because them man are the man that built up the thing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? If there's certain, if there's certain man in the thing that built up the thing, you just, I just think the world runs of respect. And I think like, okay, this is this is the key answer. I think that. Um, people in this new day and age they don't have respect like a lot of respect has been lost people think they're the guy everybody thinks they're the guy because I don't know they beat a couple chicks and they made her some peas this year so everyone thinks they're the guy isn't it? so the problem that's going to happen is when you think everyone thinks they're the guy nobody's ever going to get together nobody's ever going to jail because and I was talking to them about this earlier nobody's ever going to jail and say come together let's make this thing or let's like set this up because he don't need him and he don't need it because they both think they're the guy. Mm. Whereas like, like, for what, like not even my day and age, like it was like 500 years ago, but D Power, like I respect him for what he's done in it and he respects me for what I, I've done. So we will always link up like and do stuff in it. Like I don't know whether it'll be a rave or like, I don't know, website, whatever it might be, bro. Or if he's launching something, I'm going to come there. I'm going to spit in it. Like, I'm not going to ask him for peas. I can't ask him for peas. That's mental. And I think unless you're doing stuff with brands and stuff like that, yeah. no, no one should be no one should be asking for money like that. It should just be some. It should just all be here to build a scene. If someone's doing a rave, I don't know, man, like unless they're selling tickets or it's going to charity, they, no one should be asking for anything. We should be doing events to build up our thing, innit? You all probably thing? say that because you lot have got money these some of these kids need need that they need to be putting on they how need you, to be how on how do you know darkness. what i got how do you know what i got what so you broke like you've been how do, but how do you know i'm just assuming that's exactly what do you say you're what i'm assuming okay so all right now, so for instance you haven't got money then so do you don't you need the money for no that? i don't need money <laughs> i'm nothing money i don't know what that is what's that i don't that's not my currency I don't, I don't deal with paper and coins and metal. No, but what I'm like, saying is you're saying people should be doing bits and bobs for free. But I'm saying, look, everyone's got to work. Everyone needs money. So these kids, like, they, like, bruv, they should be asking for No, money. there's, should people, be asking there's money. people to take money from. So look, there's people to take money from. We, we know corporate brands that are coming in. Yeah, this is happening today. I've seen them. They've come, they've been doing battles. I'm not going to name names of companies. But they'll come in and they'll get all these kids to do things for, for nothing. And they've, they've, they've got billions. But then they'll come to me and when I'm doing Lord of the Mics, guys are asking me for 10 bags. Huh? Cool, I'll pay you because it's for the scene, innit? 
I'll give you the thing for because it's for the scene. But how come you want to charge me ten racks to clash on something that man have been working for for years? That's embedded in 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 in, in grime history. But you want to go on for right for 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 instance. But if they know you're gonna pay them, what? Like, I saw Radar doing ask? a clash the other day. Did you not pay the Utes to do that? Yeah, that was my clash. Yeah. That your clash, yeah. Yeah. What well, did you pay the Utes? Obviously not. No. It's not. Radio. What do you mean? Obviously not. No, like, obviously I, I not. It's radio. Money. Well, bro, it's a, ra it's a radio show, money, bro. It's bro. a radio show. What do you mean it's a it's a clash? It's a radio show, bro. Yeah, bro it's, got, it's got a platform like bro, yours, like Lords of the Mics, where it's set what up, you, blah, blah, blah. What do you it was mean a hell in a cell. Listen, bro, Ollie's no, dad, listen to Ollie's me, bro. Dad. Now, listen, we don't want to be even talking about that. That's none of my yeah, business. That's none mean? of no it's, one's business, It's bro. everyone's business, Now, bro, I'm talking about this was hell in a cell. I was like, bro, you man that's come through is like... But I thought they needed money. Bro, I'm talking about shows and that. Like, Jam, you're not even listening to what I'm saying, bro. Oh, like, this is a, this is hearing, this is bro. gonna be the best interview on radar, cause man ain't fake, yeah. So what I'm saying to you now, Jam, you you're just saying about you just shows, bro. Okay, I'm talking about a radio right, show. Turn it bro. down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. You just radio show and Lord of the Mics is exactly the same thing. Jammy, you if, sell Lord of the Mics, bro. What do you mean? I don't sell, I don't sell a Clash deal, I don't sell a radio show. Okay. You sell them Lord of the Mics. What's your, how, what's the, your the last clash? thing, what, how much you charge tickets for was it hundred pound? Yeah. Exactly, so. And how I, much did it cost me to put on a Clash, do you know? Do you know how much it cost the person to think? Do you know anything about making a DVD? I didn't say, I did. I'm just asking. No, I don't. Okay, so you want me to break it down for you how much this all cost? No, not no, really, no. no. Okay, no, why no, did you no, ask I, then? Because you're telling me about oh, telling I should you, be costs, asking people to It costs money to make what I do, bro. It costs a lot, a lot of money. Yeah? So when you're saying kids need money, but you're you're taking something what initially me and my people created in England and doing it, but you're not paying the kids, you're contradicting yourself. No, I'm not though, bro. You so are. like so it's the same thing, you being here, shall I yeah. pay you for being on my radio show? Because that's Would the you... same thing I've done with The Clash. No, it's not, bro. Yes, it is, Jammer. Right, cool, let me break it down to you. Yeah, let me break it down to it you. It was called A Hell in a Cell, I... like about wait, 50 wait men were here. Where, where's before... the footage of that Clash going? Where do you think it's going? Is it going on Radar Raid, uh, YouTube? You know where it's going, you must okay, have does that? Okay, does that... Do you get paid for that? I don't know, you tell me, Jam. <laughs> this guy's... <laughs> you, you tell me. Well, this is what I'm going to tell you, right? I love, I love the fact that you've, you've just got the balls to just be saying what you're saying. But what I'm going to break down to you is, yes, these men get money for the views. Yes, these men get funding. These men get a lot of money, Yeah. right? They're coming into the thing and they're doing it. I'm, that's Oli. I was the first person to support Oli. Oli used to be my producer on my show at Rinse, yeah? So let me not break down. I told Oli to leave. I told Oli to do radar. You can't tell me about anything. But I'm gonna break you down again now. Yeah? You're talking about this, kids need this. I've been doing this out of my pocket, paying for it before there was Jam, any no money. one's even saying yeah? that. No, but you're saying that kids need money, but you just re reinated the clash that man has created and didn't give them no money. So you're contradicting yourself. I'm not contradicting you. You are. No, because I'm not, the YouTube bro. views and everything that's getting the money from the radio. Right, right, cool, 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 wait, cool, wait, wait, wait. Cool, no, cool. don't. Don't start saying stuff and then when I'm breaking you down, you're trying to block you're not, it out. You're not breaking I no one breaking down, you. bro. No, you down. you're definitely not. I am. You're definitely I am. not that, bro. I am. No, I am. no, no, no. You know why? Because you don't want to admit to you just made a mistake. I haven't made a mistake. So do not. Do radar not make money off the YouTube views on The Clash? Yes or no? I do not know that. I'm just a radio DJ, bro. Jam, you know what? Let's, let's no, 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 fam. Don't insult my intelligence. Yeah, I'm not, an, I'm not a little man. Yeah. No I'll one said you. Jam, I'll, no I'm one said you were, you bro. I'm gonna ask you again one more time. Bro, I'm not do, gonna answer that question. Do YouTube not, bro, pay bro, for why, views? Why are you shouting for, bro? Bro, do YouTube pay for views? Yes or I no? I don't know. I'm not you in charge of the YouTube you stuff. You don't know. Like, you don't know that. Jam, like, bro, like, do you know, do you know what? Let's just stop the interview here. Let's just stop the, let's bro, stop the interview here. You're not stopping nothing. I'm on, uh, you're not bro, stopping. Uh, you're uh, not yes, stopping. I am. It's you're my show, bro. No, you're not. Bro, are you mad? Jam, bro, like, bro, bro come on, bro. Don't, don't what? come on me, bro. I'll fucking go mad in it. Bro. Are you mad? This what, listen, listen. Don't, don't play with me today. Do YouTube pay for views? Bro, yes. uh, again, I so do not know. know. So no, you I went, do not know. So you went, you went and made a clash. You went and made a clash. It wasn't about but, the money. Hold on, wait. Wait a minute, bro. Because you just tried it, bro. Yeah? You went and made a clash for youths. Yeah? Put them on it. Got them to clash. Yeah? And you said they need money, but you don't know that you filming them and giving it to Radar for YouTube is generating money for Radar. You don't know that. But my... my. You're just a radio DJ, yeah? 
you know what? My, you know, my Hell in a Cell, no, listen to me. What I've done with Hell in a Cell, it was literally to bring the youths together, we've done a clash, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Jam, Jam, Tell listen. Me, you see all this? Everyone, everyone will get everything. Will get Jam. Locked. Anyway, listen, everything listen. We're here about. We're everyone here about. Will get shut down. There's no that in it. Jam, listen. To There's me. no that in it. We're here. There's no doubt. Listen, we're here about. Um, are you bro, done, Volume listen, Five? So before, bro, listen, before. Stop this. Stop. Stop a minute, bro. I beg you, just don't do this. Don't do this because it's gonna go the wrong way for everyone. Jam, tell listen. Son, this is gonna go bad. So yeah. tell him. Fall back. Let listen, me keep have, talking everything to you. Everything's cool. Yeah. Fall listen. back because it's gonna get mad. So listen, anyway, let's talk about Are You Done Volume 5 before you go, because obviously that's what we're here about. Obviously, Jam, we need interviews like this, you know what I'm saying? We need interviews like this, yeah? So, Are You Done Volume 5, what's your favourite Fam, it's the truth, fam. Every tune's the truth, fam. Man's out here, man's the truth, innit? Man's true. Man's been in this game doing the real thing from day dot. Like it or not, yeah, man is the truth. So when man are pulling shots and saying things to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down, innit? Yeah. Whether man like it or not, it's your show. I understand that you don't want to be embarrassed on your show. But if you say some, some, if you, if you, ask but I don't feel, I don't feel, I said anything stupid. Fam, down. you've, you just said, listen, let's just go back, just so we can move on. Okay. Just so we can move on. I told you about the scene, innit? And how everyone's gonna develop the scene, and how we should push forward, and how we should be getting money from corporates and doing certain things, innit? Yeah, I'm not saying nothing wrong. I'm saying how it should be. What innit? Do you think I said anything no, wrong no, as you, well? No, no, you said to me, I've got money. I said, how do you know that? I assume. You said, I assume. I said, okay, cool. You said, you do thing, you make money from it, you sell it. I said, do you know how much it costs to pull it on? Do you know how much it costs to manufacture? Do you know how much the PR costs? Do you know how much it costs to pay the artist? No. Then, I said, hold on a minute. I swear Radar just done a clash that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you said, that's mine. It was a radio show, Jam. It wasn't this. Oh, can then, you listen to me, no, though? No, then listen I to said, me. Then I said, hold on. You got those youths clashing on your thing. Did you give them any money? You said, I don't make no money from it. It's just a radio show. I said, hold on a minute. Where's that going on YouTube? I swear that uh, turns over revenue. You said, I don't know anything. I'm just a radio DJ. So just be a radio DJ then, if that's what you're going to be. Because if I'm talking to you about other stuff, you shouldn't be speaking to me about it because you don't know because you're just a radio DJ. So how was just, I, how was, damn, how was I talking, DJ. like, bro, so what, what What did you get offended about, if, if you are offended? Okay, what's the, I'm not offended. what's the issue if that, there's no, it is an issue no, or whatever? No, there, it's not, I'm not offended, I'm just not stupid. So what did I say what was wrong to you then? You said, the youth then, yeah, need money. I've got money in it. But you said, you, you done a clash the other day, and it was for free, no one's making no money, yeah? But you haven't, you haven't took time to find out what Radar are doing with the footage, the thing, how much it's going to generate. You haven't, you haven't thought that because, I don't know, maybe you're, you're not a businessman or maybe you don't care about money. I don't know. But I'm telling you something. Someone in this building, somewhere, is getting money for what them youths just done on your clash in your thing. So what I'm trying to say is, you can't say, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be saying people should do things for free, when I know there's revenue being made, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm making revenue on Lord of the Mics, if you look at all the big clashes that I've done before Wiley and Kano and everyone, everybody's been paid. Do you know why I've done that? Because if we don't pay people in our scene and show people that they're worth something, no corporates ain't going to come and pay them. None at all. They ain't going to pay them. So that's my job, innit? Whether you don't care about it or whether you're just a radio DJ or wherever you are, that's cool. But listen, I've, I'm, why I'm speaking with passion is because I've lived this thing. You get what I'm saying? I've lived it. I'm not talking from like some space where I I don't know. I don't know. How old are you? I'm 28. You're 28? Right. I'm not talking from a space where I've just mixed tunes in my bedroom or in radar or whatever. I'm talking about I've travelled not only UK but everywhere pushing this music that that is being pushed throughout all these stations, throughout all these DJs, throughout all these new people. So if I have an opinion on how I think things should be better, yeah? Because you assume that I have money and people shouldn't be coming to pay, they should be coming to places for free, I'm going to correct you, whether you like it or no, not. I hear that, Jam, but listen, we've got to actually wrap this up, bro. You can wrap it I've up. got power. Wrap yourself up while you're at it as well, man. All right, cool. Thanks for coming down, Jam. Cool.